Dámy a pánové, mám nejaktuálnější informaci, že z tohoto nádherného vozu, právě v tomto okamžiku, na červený koberec vystupuje hlavní hvězda. Festivalu Karlovy Vary. Richard Gír, poprvé v České republice, poprvé v Karlových Varech. Poprvé na filmovém festivalu a... Congratulations on receiving the festival's Crystal Globe Award for outstanding artistic contribution to world cinema. What's your reaction to receiving that prize here? Well, I've known of the festival here for some time, and it has a wonderful reputation in the world. So it's a great honor for me to be presented with this award. Uh, you know, this is a, the festival is very much about filmmakers. Uh, it's 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 not as much about the the song and the dance and the the uh, the publicity around it. But it seems to be very serious filmmakers and serious films, serious actors, writers, directors. So I think it's a special honor for me to be here. You're about to introduce your new film, Time Out of Mind, about a homeless guy in New York. What was it that drew you to the subject and how did you prepare for that role? I don't know. When I start a project like this, there has to be some kind of mystery. Otherwise, there's no point doing it. It's, and I've often used the metaphor of falling in love. If you don't fall in love in the beginning with someone, you have no place to go. Uh, there's always going to be a mystery in whoever the object of your love is. Uh, and the same with this. I'm, it's only after we made the movie, and, I, and it exists, that I can see some of the reasons why I made it. I had some idea when I began. It was just very emotional to me, as, this, as I was just telling this gentleman over here. It, this, I think we all have a sense of moving towards home moving towards security to, to what, however we define happiness, but this, this sense of I finally arrived at my place with my people. And you see it around the world, sometimes that becomes violent, but I think the, the core drive of that is very benign and quite lovely, this, this yearning for, for home. And I, I think that's the core of what this movie is. You're also presenting here at Carlo Vivari, Pretty Woman. How do you view that movie after all these years, and why do you think it's still so hugely popular around the world? It, I don't, look, when we made it, we loved this little film. We were making a little film, and we were trying to make it as honestly as we could. But Julia and I were in good places in our lives at that point, and, and we, we had a very nice chemistry and Kind of, it's hard hard to say what that bubble is that people have, but a kind of a trust, openness. Um, I think love. I think there was a genuine love between us, and that's what comes across on the screen. I love the fact that we all do this together. And whether we're telling the stories or watching the stories, it's the same universe. And hopefully it's a universe of responsibility. One that, that says we, we, we can make any story we want. We have to do the work, but we can create and make and live in any story that we want. So let's make a story that's peaceful, that's generous, that's joyous, that's loving, that's sexy, that's fun, that we all can inhabit together. Look at here.